I'm about to find out exactly what's going to happen when I drop a pair of ballistic gel legs into the middle of hungry lemon sharks. Give me a hand up here. Just gotta get the ropes through there. That's right. These legs really feel real. What we're gonna try and do here is simulate someone swimming, actually treading water above a school of hungry lemon sharks. Do you think fooled by a set of Hollywood special effects legs? They could mistake these for the food source. Okay, well, I'm glad it's you and not me. Why don't you hop in and then I'll throw the legs in after you. Okay, man. Let's do it. There are not many people I would trust to send down into the middle of a feeding frenzy. Stuart must always be on guard. Now that he's in position, let's get our ballistic gel legs in there with him. Now, the legs themselves are made out of a non-toxic gel, and if a shark bites them, oh, all they get is this gel. It's not gonna hurt them. These legs have no scent whatsoever, which means this test will be based purely on the lemon's senses of touch and sight. Here they go, here they go. Oh, he's just nipped the leg. There's gotta be at least nine, 10 sharks down there, all big lemon sharks. All they're doing right now is gumming up the legs. They're sort of bumping it with their nose, testing it out. Oh man, I would not want to be down there right now. Okay, here it comes. Here it comes. It's getting close. Oh, he's got the leg. He's got the leg. He's gone. That bite right there, that would be fatal. You're out in a boat out here, you're bleeding to death within 10 minutes from a bite like that. Here comes another one. There goes, there goes the other leg right now. Man, they are aggressive. See if Stuart can get down there and retrieve some of this. You get a feeding frenzy going like this, it's a shark competition. We got one big, massive winner out there pulling the leg right off. All they want to do is eat. Stuart's on body retrieval now. Let's take a look at this leg. Oh, man. Look at that. Mangled, twisted, ripped apart. You gotta look at this and think that could be human flesh. That could be blood and broken bones. That is nasty. What went on down there? And it was textbook. I mean, the sharks came in, they started to bump it with their noses, and eventually one of them bit it, ripped it off. I tell you, if this was a real leg, this would have been a trip to the emergency room. Even darker, you know, a trip to the morgue. That is gnarly. All right, this proves that when a lemon shark is really fired up, he'll bite on just about anything. But in our case, he didn't consume it. Beneath the lemon shark's skin runs a fluid-filled lateral line from their nose to their tail. This line helped the lemon shark to determine if the gel legs were edible or not. We may have fooled their sense of touch, but as soon as they realized that it had no taste, they spit it out. 